What up, gang? Lane Carolina Giant Pot coming at you. It is Sunday afternoon. Just got word about half an hour ago that Vanderbilt let Derek Mason go. Now, this is a firing that I can't say I'm shocked by it because of his record this year. P.S. It's not good. P.S. He's 0 8. It's the fact that. He wasn't expected to have a good year anyway. And I know it's a COVID year, okay? It's a COVID year, and, you know, South Carolina fired Will Muschamp during a COVID year, so why can't we fire Derek Mason during a COVID year? I say a COVID year in air quotes because, guess what? Every year from here on out is going to be a fucking COVID year. It is, because even if the COVID is not rampant, even if we have a vaccine and by 2022, the COVID that we're going through right now is in the rearview mirror. Guess what? The ripple effects of this will be felt for many, many, many years to come. So that's why every year is going to be a COVID year. Um, it's the fact of that, that he has had a very depleted roster all year long. And I'm not saying depleted as in the fact that it's not uh, talent-wise matching up with all of his foes in the SEC. I'm saying he had like 55, 56 players that could dress out. They barely got in our game versus Vanderbilt. That thing uh, very likely could have been canceled. And in all likelihood, it should have been maybe. Uh, and, you know, it just sucks. It sucks all the way around. But the bottom line is, at these schools, you've got to win, and you've got to, you've got to have some semblance of, you know, moving forward with your program. And after Vanderbilt, he had started off 0 and 4, and then the next three games, they actually started playing better. They were within three points of Mississippi State and Kentucky, and played Florida pretty respectably. So, you know, you would think they were trending upward. And I was actually disappointed they didn't get to play Tennessee this weekend because I had sprinkled $30 on the money line, and I think they would have beaten Tennessee. I really do. Call me stupid, but I think they would have beaten Tennessee. Instead, they end up on, what, like Tuesday, switching things up, and they got to go play Mizzou on the road, and uh, they got their shit pushed in. And so that led to his dismissal. But... People, they, 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 they want to say, man, I feel sorry for old Derek Mason. He's a good coach, man. He's got a tough job. I, I just feel really bad for him. He's got such a tough job. Well, don't feel bad for him. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee you, I can guarantee you that some random hoodlum didn't sneak up behind him on a sideline somewhere, put the arm around the stroke like this, put a gun to his head and say, motherfucker, you come on with us. You and Coach Vandy, whether you like it or not, bitch. That didn't happen. It did not happen. He signed his name on the dotted line. And he wanted to coach that team. Not an easy job. And you can't really say that he failed at it. He took them to two bowl games. Uh, they didn't win them. He also whew, never beat my Gamecocks. Beating all the other SEC East teams, though. Pretty sure of that. Pretty sure of that. Maybe there's one or two he didn't beat. I don't know. He didn't even get cost. He beat Tennessee three years in a row, though. So where do they go from here? I don't know. Um, Billy Napier, I feel like, is still out there uh, as a candidate that uh, will take an SEC job. I don't know if Vanderbilt is the job that he would take, but I do know that at Furman, I believe he played for a coach named Bobby Johnson. Bobby Johnson ended up becoming the head coach at Vanderbilt. And he was there for five or six years. This has been back in the back in the pre two thousand. He was before James Franklin, but Napier played for him at Furman. I'm pretty sure of that. So there's a history there that kind of ties Vanderbilt into Furman and Napier's an alum there. So I mean, I don't really know how that would work out, but uh, I, I do think he could do some good things there. I'm just not sure if it's the right fit for him. But um, he's taking on uh, a pretty tough job right now at the uh, University of Louisiana. I mean, they've never been known as world beaters, and right now he's doing pretty, pretty damn good. I would say that's a very viable candidate. Looks like he's not going to be a candidate in the South Carolina search much longer. Uh, I think we're pretty much resigned to uh, Shane Beamer 
And I'm thinking within the next couple of days, they're going to announce that he's the next head coach. And, hey, I'm all for it. You know, you know, number one thing is he wants the job. He wants it. He wants it. So that's, that's, that's what counts. That's what counts. Also, players that were there 10, 11 years ago, they like him. So, you know, 10, 11 years ago, I mean, things are exactly the same right now as they were then, right? No, I'm just – I'm still being a little cynical because it's not really who I want, but I will take it. Okay, number one, he has to be better than Will Muschamp. Uh, if he's breathing uh, and, and he can walk upright and if he can tie his shoes together and not tie them together to themselves, I'm pretty sure he's better than Will Muschamp. Pretty sure he's better than Will Muschamp. And he has been around winners his entire career. Um He's been with a lot of teams that have won a lot of games. He knows a lot of people. If he can get the right coordinators in here, he can get the right staff assembled. If they recruit their ass off, I mean, the sky's the fucking limit, man. The sky's the fucking limit. They're thinking out of the box. So I I can't hate on it. I can't hate on it. I can't shit on it anymore because even if I'm going to sit around and poo-poo it for the next year, and bitch and moan about it, it's not going to change anything. It will not change anything. Kale, that is still your HBC. That's your head ball coach at South Carolina. And whoever is the HBC and the head ball coach at the University of South Carolina will have my support. They will have my support. So there's that. I'm just uh, just kind of wondering what do people think yesterday about the, uh, the girl kicking uh, the football for Vanderbilt uh, and being on the team yesterday. I, I, we never really discussed it because I didn't go live or anything like that, but here's my thing about it. And I saw a lot of stuff on Facebook, a lot of stuff on Twitter from uh, people that I actually uh, didn't expect to see this kind of uh, kind of stuff coming from that were just <laughs> throwing out some really juvenile, just dumb shit uh, about this girl kicking for them. I mean, who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? They're like, some of these guys are fans, are like these, these, these beer-bellied, pot-bellied, damn, uh, no athletic skills having, ain't never laced up a pair of cleats, ain't never put on a pair of shoulder pads or a helmet having motherfuckers. They're going to sit here and act like uh, they're in some kind of secret fraternity because they're a college football fan, and they can uh, get on their damn uh, internet warrior board here on their phone and type, 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 and put all the shit on there, and it's going to make a damn hill of shit. It don't. It makes you look like an asshole. It makes you look like an asshole. The name of the sport is football. It's not men's football. So she has the skills, and a particular team has the need, then let the female lace up and go out there and play. But also, she needs to know that if she decides to lace up and go out there and play, that whatever comes with the territory comes with the territory. Right? So if you take a vicious lick, if you get the shit knocked out of you, I mean, it all goes with it. You better be prepared for it. That's all I got to say about it. As it's for anybody who goes out there. And even if you did put on the shoulder pads and lace up a damn pair of cleats and put a helmet on, and you went all the way to the damn college level or whatever, you know, it still does not give you the right to sit here and pass judgment on anybody. It doesn't. Um, you would think, probably watching my other videos, that uh, that that would not be the uh, side I'd be on. You would expect me to be on the one uh, talking shit about the girl, too. But uh, I'm not. I, I'm really not. I think everybody deserves an opportunity to go after whatever they want to go after. I mean, they do. So... I mean, hell, they let China wrestle men. Why not let this girl kick a football with the boys? It just makes sense. Woo!